Okay, so you know how much I love to narrate the videos so that I can explain to you guys about what I did. I now officially have two days where I'm doing only core, foam rolling, and stretching, which I believe that you should foam roll and stretch every day, but this is better than nothing, and that's what I've been doing all this time. Nothing. No stretching, no foam rolling. And I do a little bit of core before cardio, but now I'm designating a whole slot of time. I might get into a whole video as to why I'm doing this, what this has to do with my goals, and all that other stuff. But I decided to bring a TRX home from my studio, and I incorporated some tucks and pikes and alternating tucks, and I did this little superset of, like, tucks, then V-sits, and then this alternating crunches. I got some really light dumbbells in my hands. And I went back and forth, and I went through this, I believe, three times. Um, and I think I'm just going to show you a different angle so you can see the TRX. Um, oh, and then I added in the battle rope, which I'm going to be honest with you, I only did this twice. Because um, I really want to be able to focus on fully working my core. And this was great, but I also felt it in my arms because it was with the battle rope. I should have just done it without it. But um, if you want to get a little dynamic with your core, you can absolutely add this in. So now you can just see a different angle. So it's not about the hip flexors. It's about the abs. And I'm flexing my abs hard. It's about that mind-muscle connection. You could do a tuck and not at all, and now I'm doing alternating tucks, and not at all feel it in your abs. You'll feel it in your hip flexors, your thighs. But if you're flexing hard, you can feel it where in the designated area. So core involves the lower back. I don't have a hyperextension machine, so I made my own Mach 1. And I'm showing you closer and closer and closer so that you can see. I'm wrapping my legs around like a frog, um, and I'm putting my hips right towards the edge of the bench, and I'm doing a hyperextension. I'm not really feeling it in my hamstrings. I'm feeling a little bit of my glutes just because my legs are open. And now I'm blowing you some kisses. Um, uh, but... I definitely felt it in my lower back. Um, decided to do some corkscrews. That's what these are, where it's all obliques. So I actually did a few sets of that without supersetting it with anything else. Um, then I did corkscrews with reverse crunches. So I went back and forth with these two. Um, and you really want to fo focus on rolling up one vertebrae at a, ta a, a time and then rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Um, and then you want to keep your back as flat as possible when you're doing the leg lowering. So keep the abs flexed hard. Um, then, you when you do crunches, doing crunches on the floor, you are not working your spine in all angles. So um, this is a superset I did four times. Lower back, cobra, um, with the dumbbells, and I'm, I'm opening and closing the legs and the arms. I'm, my arms are never touching the ground. Again, these are really light dumbbells, and I'm supersetting them going back and forth. I couldn't find my ball. I have no idea where it is, but this is even harder than the stability ball because you want to be able to extend the spine as you crunch instead of just on the flat floor. So uh, I, I didn't actually switch the angle again, which I would have. I, I wish I would have so that you can see, I mean, the foam roller is a cylinder. It's round. So you're going to curl your spine back and your shoulders are almost going to touch the ground, and then you're going to curl up. And I supersetted that. Again, I went back and forth. Foam roller to the prone cobras. Um, you could add a band on your ankles, which I've done. I've done a video of that in the past. And work your glutes even more. So as you're opening your legs, you got a, a band, not very heavy band, um, on the ankles. Uh, but this is really meant for all, like shoulders, lower back, glutes, everything. Um, this is a super old school exercise. If you flex your core as you're doing this, and it, and I did do it sitting on a bench, but I just, I videotaped it and I deleted it. Um, if you're sitting on a bench, it'll keep your hips from rotating, but I did just go, I, sh I turned my hips for a second to show you. I will be very honest. Doing vacuums while you're in the middle of a workout is like, I'm not going to use the word impossible, but it is super hard. Like you're totally out of breath. So I could barely hold it for like five seconds. I recommend vacuums like first thing in the morning, laying down in bed, whatever it is. Of course, with my new hair, I have to do a hair flip. Um, so I just incorporated some stretching also at the end. But getting back to what I was talking about before, uh, which I forgot. So whatever. Um, but now I'm stretching my hip flexors and my quads um, and just going back and forth from that. 
I did the foam roller, so I'm going back and forth from stretching to foam rolling now. Uh, I got a major cramp in my calf, so I did that. I added that in there. Um, and when you do the foam roller, you can roll up and down, or you can find the knot and hold it. Now, you can't really see. Well, you did just see me sit down there. But I lifted my body up, and I stacked my feet, so you can put all the pressure on the knot I had in my calf. With the hamstrings, I'm actually just rolling back and forth. And I have two foam foam rollers. This one actually has like little indents in it, like, like a cleat. Um, so I'm doing the calf again because that calf just kept cramping the whole entire time. I kept guzzling water as you saw in the middle of my stretch. So I was going back and forth from foam rolling to stretching. This is my foot cramping again. I grabbed some water. Uh, actually I grabbed some, uh, intro workout cause I still use that. I put like a half of a scoop of the formula 19. Usually I use a full scoop or even a scoop and a half on leg days. Um, but now I'm going to go back fully into the stretch, uh, and you can see it again. So you don't, a lot of people can't get all the way down and you could do this with only one leg if you want to. Um, so one leg down and then the other leg straight and then you're kind of like sitting on your side, you actually might get a little bit of a better hip flexor stretch. Um, and then you can also work your way down into the full stretch. So I'm just doing my best to breathe through this, feel it major, major in my quads. Not everybody could do this, uh, especially if you have bad knees, um, but uh, that was it. So got that. And then I think, you wanna know what? I think I messed up and I think I got the hair flip again in here, I did. So sorry about that, but you know what? When you get new hair extensions, you just gotta flip the hair around. And I was very happy with them, so.